Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about the radar challenge. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So what exactly is the RADAR Challenge? Well, RADAR stands for Rapid Deployment of Amateur Radio, and the idea is fairly simple. You take a portable radio station, you go out into the field and set it up. Once you've got your station set up, you make five contacts. Then you break the station down and move to the next location. Rinse and repeat for as many locations as you can accomplish in the 24-hour period. Now, I was able to complete three activations. Uh, the first two, I worked on voice, and the third one, well, I kind of cheated a little bit, but we'll get to that in just a bit. Now, they have different rules depending on your method of transportation. So if you're walking, you've got to move uh, one distance between locations. If you're biking, it's a different distance. And if you're using a mobile like I was, it's yet another difference. I'll leave a link to the website down in the description below so you can read all of the rules set out for the challenge. Now, this happens three times during the year. Uh, this was the second one of the year that just occurred uh, during the month of July, and there's one more coming up in November. So if you want to participate, there is one more opportunity this year. But it's really a great exercise because it gets us out into the field and it teaches us more about setting up our equipment quickly, making those contacts, and breaking down. And when you're doing that multiple times throughout the day, you just learn more about your equipment. You also learn what you really need and what fluff you can leave out of your kit, what's just not really necessary to drag around with you. But without further ado, let's get to the main section of the video. Whiskey 4 Zulu Tango Hotel. Good morning. This is KM4 ACK. I've got you 5757 into Middle Tennessee this morning. Uh, roger that. Uh, you are also 5757. Five, seven. I'm on the uh, west coast of Florida about an hour. Go ahead. Outstanding. Well, I'm out here playing radio this morning, participating in the radar challenge. If you don't mind, could you give me your grid square, please? Roger, Roger. Echo Lima 88. Echo Lima 88. Copy. Echo Lima 88. I'm in Echo Mike uh, 65. EM 65 this morning. Roger, Roger. Echo Mike 65. Okay, I got it. Got the information. And hey, I appreciate the video uh, you guys put out to us. Uh, good source of information and all the pie work. So uh, I'll get out of here. Uh, contact. Outstanding. Thanks for the contact this morning. 7 3. Alrighty, 7 3. Kilo Sierra 4 Zulu Yankee calling KM4 Kilo Sierra 4 Zulu Yankee you are 5757 into Middle Tennessee this morning Okay very good uh, you're about the same down here we're in South Georgia Kilo Delta 8 Whiskey Juliet Bravo Kilo Delta 8, Whiskey Juliet Bravo, you are 5757 five, into Middle Tennessee this morning. Roger, you're 55 five in uh, Southern Ohio this morning. Kilowatt Echo 2, Echo Foxtrot. That's Kilowatt Echo 2, Echo Foxtrot. Kilo Echo 2, Echo Foxtrot. I've got you 5757 five, this morning into Echo Mike 65 in Middle Tennessee. QSL? QSL, you're a 55 five, five into Delray Beach, Florida. The grid is EL96WL. Kilo Juliet 4, Lee McQueen X ray. Kilo Juliet 4, Lima, Quebec, X-Ray. I've got you 5757 five, into Middle Tennessee this morning. QSL? QSL, you're a 5... I'll give you a 5-7 as well. 5-7 into Eastern Florida, grid square is Echo 7. Lima, Quebec, X-Ray. 
Nancy, Quebec. QSL. All right. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you for the contact. You make number five. That means I get to break down the station and move to the next location. Yeah, very good. Good luck. And by the way, I enjoy your YouTube videos. Uh, great job. All right. So here we are set up at the second location. Uh, I've got some weather that may be moving in on us. The wind is picking up and uh, radar is indicating at least some spot showers. Supposed to have more widespread stuff this afternoon. Well, let's see if we can get this second location activated and then move on to the third. Now this one is only about uh, seven kilometers uh, from the original site, so not far of a move this time. The next one is going to be about a 45 minute drive from here. But uh, this one was kind of relatively close by. We're back out at the uh, off-grid cabin so that we can uh, utilize this location since it was fairly close by. But I hope to get three of these in the books today. Let's go ahead and start on 20 meters and see what happens. November 8, give me that full call again, please. November 8, X-ray, Yankee Mike, X-ray, Yankee Mike, Ohio. November 8, X-Ray, Yankee Mike, thank you for the call this morning. You are 5757 into Middle Tennessee. Grid number is Echo Mike 65. Can I have your grid square, please? Uh, grid square is uh, Echo Nancy 80ME. Copy, Echo November 80, Mike Echo, QSL? QSL. Guys, I am fairly close on this one to a public uh, gun range, so if you hear uh, some gunfire in the background, you'll know kind of why that is. Kilo Charlie 4, Foxtrot Lima Bravo. Kilo Charlie 4, Foxtrot Lima Bravo. I've got you 5757 into Middle Tennessee, grid number Echo Mike 65, QSL. Roger, Roger. I think it's the band. You dropped down as well that time. Can you give me your grid square, please? Fox Mike 17. Copy. Fox, Fox Mike 17. Fox Mike 17. Alpha Delta 8, Fox Trot Delta. Alpha Delta 8, Fox Trot Delta. You are 5555 five, five into Middle Tennessee this morning. Grid square Echo Mike 65. QSO? Roger, Roger. You are 59 into Southern Ohio. That's grid square. Copy, Echo Mike 79. Thank you for the contact. Thank you for calling CQ. This is KC3. With you, Robert. I'm not sure I caught your call right, but you're coming in here about S9. All right, I had a KC3 and another station uh, in there at the same time. Let's start with KC3, please. Copy, uh, Kilo Charlie 3, Echo Mike Kilo, Grid Square, Fox November 00. zero. You are 5555 five, 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 five into Middle Tennessee, Grid Echo Mike 65, QSL. QSL, have a great day. Thank you for the contact. Other station calling, uh, come again, please. KI5, Quebec Juliet Uniform, AG. All right, Kilo India 5, Quebec Juliet Uniform. Did I get that correct? Uh, QSL, Roger. Congratulations on uh, getting your general license, uh, participating in the radar challenge myself this morning. My grid square is Echo Mike 65. Echo Mike 65. Can you give me your grid square, please? Uh, I'm in zone 7, Central Arkansas. Outstanding. I'll look it up when I get back to the shack and get the exact uh, grid off of uh, QRZ. Uh, you are my fifth contact, so uh, after this one, I've got to break down and move to a new location. QSL? Uh, QSL, roger, roger. Thanks for the contact. Yes, sir. Congrats again on that uh, general license. 7-3. 73. Alpha, Alpha 8, X-ray, X-ray. Alpha Alpha 8, X-ray, X-ray, you are 5555 into Middle Tennessee, grid Echo Mike 65, QSL. Copy your Echo Mike 65, Echo Mike uh, 79. Hey, we ended up with a bonus in there. 
Nobody else is calling right now. Let's break this down and get moved. So I told you guys earlier in the video that I cheated a bit on the third section. Well, I didn't so much cheat as I just deviated from the plan. Uh, the logs really don't matter to me uh, for this. Uh, I'm not really contesting. It's more of a personal challenge for me. Uh, so I did voice for the first two segments, the first two locations that I activated. I uh, did do voice. In this one, I'm going to run WinLink and send out five emails. So I've already got uh, those emails composed and ready to go. Let's see if we can make that connection. And there you have it. That's what I'm calling a success. Now, what do I want to try different next time? Well, I don't know. Uh, I enjoyed every aspect of this. Uh, I enjoyed the challenge of moving location to location to location. Uh, next time, I may want to change it up a bit, though. I'm not sure exactly what the rules allow. Uh, it would be kind of cool to drive up to a high point and try some 2-meter contacts. Uh, either on single sideband or FM as one of the locations. So maybe I could do uh, VHF, UHF from one location, do HF voice from a second location, and from the third location go ahead and make another digital contact. Could I jump on FT8 and uh, utilize it? Sure, you could do that if you wanted to. JS8 call I think would be fair game as well, uh, as really the only exchange for it is your call sign and your grid uh, and I believe you could get all of those easily out of uh, any of those three. Now WinLink, well that really doesn't count uh, because I'm, I'm passing my grid square on to those that I emailed but it may be uh, several hours or several days, who knows, before I get a reply. So uh, I don't guess those really count and you couldn't really put those in the log but I wanted it as part of my challenge uh, just to do something different. I'd already proved with the first two locations that I could operate and make the uh, five required contacts on voice. So doing digital kind of threw something else into the mix. So I want to challenge you guys. There's one more of these left coming up in 2021. I believe that is November the 6th. Uh, but I'll put that right across the screen right here in case I'm wrong uh, so that you'll know exactly what uh, the dates are for the last one coming up for this year. I'll also leave a link to the radar uh, website down in the description below so you can check that for the full rules, full details if you do want to participate in it as a contest and go ahead and submit your logs. All right, guys, thanks for riding along today. We will see you on the next video. Until then... 7-3.